Good day everyone, I am SL Tutor. Today I'm going to teach you some past board exam problems for hydraulics. This is for the students who are reviewing for their civil engineering board exam. Without further ado, let's get started. So question one. This is from CE Board May 2015. An iceberg floats in seawater with 500 cubic meters of ice above the water surface. If the specific gravity of seawater is 1.02 and of ice is 0.92, what is the total volume of the ice? Letter A, 5.1, B, 5.150, C, 5.2, D, 5.250. So, in order to solve for this problem, we need to know the principle of buoyancy. So what is the principle of buoyancy? It simply means weight is equals to buoyant force. So weight, which is the weight of the object, is equals to buoyant force since it is submerged into the water. So given volume above is 500 cubic meters stated in the problem, specific gravity of the fluid, 1.02 specific gravity of the object or the ice 0.92 so the solution uh, ito po ay isang general equation so you can memorize it napakarami pong pwedeng uh, gamitin itong equation na ito sa mga problems so volume below is equal to specific gravity of the object over specific gravity of the fluid times the total volume so we know that the total volume is equal to the volume above plus volume below. So isolating volume below and then substituting 500 which is the volume above in the equation and plugging it into the general equation total volume minus 500 is equal to the specific gravity of the object which is the 0.92 the specific gravity of the fluid 1.02 times the total volume ship solved and we can get the total volume is equivalent to 5100 cubic meters that is letter a next question a ship having a displacement of 24,000 metric tons and a draft of 10.4 meters in ocean. Specific gravity of the ocean is 1.02, enters a harbor of fresh water which has a specific gravity of 1.0. If the horizontal section of the ship at the water line is 3,000 square meters, what depth of fresh water is required to float the ship? This problem is from Seaboard May. 2015 rin po. Letter A, 10.17. Letter B, 10.63. Letter C, 10.95. And letter D, 11.17. So, ito po yung ship from seawater which has a specific gravity of 1.03. Ito naman po yung ship from fresh water which has a specific gravity of 1.0. So, meaning po, mas ma liit yung specific gravity ng fresh water. So, mas lulubog ang ship sa fresh water compared sa sea water. So, given 24 million kilograms, bakit po naging 24 million kilograms? We know that 1 metric tons is equals to 1,000 kilograms. So, 24,000 times 1,000 is 24 million kilograms. Draft is 10.4 meters given po yun sa problem. Specific gravity of seawater 1.03 Specific gravity of fresh water 1.0 And the cross-sectional of the ship at the water line is 3,000 square meters. So let's call H1 10.4 meters which is the draft and then Ito po yung naging um, height ng ship nung napunta siya sa fresh water. So, mas lumubog yung ship. And then, 
Ito yung H1 from the original sea water and then H2 yung naging height from the fresh water. So, ang hahanapin po natin is delta H. Itong volume na to ang hahanapin natin since ang tinatanong ng question is what depth of fresh water is required to float the ship. Okay? So, paano ba natin to i-approach? Ito yung approach. Considering the sea water muna tayo. Considering the sea water, we know that weight is equivalent to gamma volume. Diba? Isolating uh, volume, weight over gamma, and then plugging it in the equation, 24 million kilograms weight, gamma 1.03 Huwag nyo pong kakalimutan na it times sa 1,000 since gamma yan. And then, we can get the answer 23,300.971 cubic meters. Considering naman natin yung fresh water, dito, dito naman tayo tumingin. So, sinabi ko na po yan, weight is equal to gamma volume, isolating volume, weight over gamma. And then, plugging it. In the equation, 24 million kilograms, papalitan lang po natin yung gamma, which is 1.0 sa fresh water. And then, the change in volume, pag ma-minusin lang natin, difference ng V1 and V2, 24,000, minus 23,300.971, which is equivalent to 699.029 cubic meters. And then, we know that uh, volume is equals to area times height, di ba? E ang hinahanap po natin is the delta H. Meron na tayong delta V, which is 699. Meron tayong area, 3,000 square meters. So, plugging it in the equation, isolating delta H, we can get 0.233 meters. So, paano natin... Masasagot yung tanong. Hindi pa po ito ang sagot. Ang, ang tanong is, what depth of fresh water is required to float the ship? So, from the fresh water, ang tinatanong po ay H2. So, paano yun? H1, syempre H1 plus delta H. Eh, meron tayong delta H given na ang H1 which is the draft, 10.4. So, pagpaplasin na lang po natin sila, 10.4 plus 0.233 which is equivalent to 10.63 uh, 638 meters which is letter P so that's all for today maraming salamat po sana nakatulong sa inyo stay tuned sa next video po natin na tutorial bye